Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Treasures of the Savage Frontier. Um, rather than going to uh, Mirabar, I decided to uh, um, head to some of the uh, Dwarven Ruins and see if we can take care of those. I'm hoping that I can rest because I got into some pretty nasty uh, random encounters along the way. Hidden in the undergrowth, you discover a very old tunnel leading down into the earth. Do you enter? Yes. The stairway leaves you in an old, gloomy hallway. The heavy darkness swallows your torchlight, making mapping impossible. Oh noes! Yet up ahead you can make out a hazy glow. Ald says, let's make for the light. Maybe there, maybe there we'll find a clue to the crossroads. Okay, and as long as we're, uh, until we get to that point, we do not want to uh, um, enter any doors. So let's go ahead and get there. Sunbeams greet you here in the center of the crossroads, the light gleaming off your armor and weapons illuminating the old stonework. Quick, says Ald, make a map of everything we've seen so far. Oh, look! Area view, it works. So, um, why don't I have a mouse cursor? Uh, huh. Yeah, mouse cursor is working. Hold on a second. Okay, well, looks like this is just a bug in uh, um, Treasures of the Savage Frontier right now. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and fix and rest. Get back all my spells. Lots of spells. While I was doing those wandering, wandering uh, random encounters, I had my first uh, person charmed by harpies. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're at the crossroads. We can see, um, we can see the entire map here. So um, that's kind of handy. Uh, it's only what, eleven by eleven. But there's a lot of teleporters in here, so uh, um, I, I actually found a uh, map online, so I'm going to be using that. Um, so let's go to the uh, um, northeast quadrant first. Let's go ahead and move, see what happens when we uh, do that. Oh, darn. No more... Uh, um, no more map. Okay, so... I think we want to go up here. And this actually is a teleporter. So we're in here. Let's uh, see what we've got. A battle begins. Oh, well, at least my cleric starts first. Whee! Oh, crap. Come on, kill. Oh, and there's one down there, too. Come on, people. Do not miss under any circumstances. Oh, come on. Stop missing. At least the, the specters are missing. There we go. Excellent. Oh! Did I save it outside? Or... Hmm. I found treasure! Money. That's that's it. Just money. So it's level eight now. Um, do I have any restoration scrolls? New. 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 Gee, thanks. All right, let me pause it. Okay. Well, I. Uh, this time they were electric spiders, which was actually worse. Um, luckily no one died, but still. Kind of sucked right there. That entangle spell didn't do anything. I'm disappointed. Okay, let's go over to this one. And, oh, driders! Much nicer. I haven't attacked you yet. Good. Now you're not going to be casting. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Let's see, 13, 7, okay, I guess we'll go after you. After you. <laughs> ah. Continue battle? No. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we get money wise. Uh, piece of jewelry, not too bad. Let's go ahead and share that. Um, lots of good magic arrows. Excellent. No. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Okay, let me take a look at our map again. <clears throat> uh, let me actually go back here. Okay, now, uh, since I don't have my mouse cursor, it's kind of hard for me to show you, but uh, in that northern quadrant, um, that 2x2 two two building, it's completely empty, and the doors are on the north side and the east side, and they teleport you straight into those little 1x2 rooms. That's basically how each of these areas works. There's uh, um, teleporters that'll teleport you around, um, so that'll totally screw up your uh, mapping if you don't understand that. However, one of the advantages of getting into combat is that then you can look around and you can get some of the surrounding area um, figured out. You'll re you might realize that you've teleported. Anyway, uh, let's head um, back this way. All right, we'll go into the uh, uh, southeast section. And we are now out here. Let's see where we can go. And a battle. Oh, crap. I'll... Good, good. Oh, come on. Aw, oh, crap. Let me delay that right there. She's got magical arrows, so... Don't hit, don't hit, good. She does not have magical arrows, so I better move her into uh, close combat. Good. Excellent. One left. Oh, good. Ah, oh, good. Nope. Let's see what we find. Money. Not a big fan of monies right now. I don't really have much use for it. Plus, I got so much stuff in uh, um, our vault. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. All right, this other door is supposed to be a uh, battle. Oh God, no! Why? Why? Oh, that didn't kill... Well, at least I got a fireball. I can get a fireball off. Kill it. Thank you. Yes. Come on. Give me a fire... Stop. Why do you stop centering sometimes? I should do it. Good. Fantastic. That was nice. Went really well. Okay. Get our spells back. Okay, so now let's go to, I guess, the northwest section. Let me take a look at the map on how that'll work out. I guess we'll head straight north. Should be a battle here. That's a lot of ogres. Over shamans, too. Alright. At least we got someone in front of each one of those. So let's... 
Oh, they have negative one in armor class? That's pretty impressive. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. Alright, now I'm disappointed with you people. You were casting. That sucked. Well, at least failed on all of those. How are you missing? I mean, I know they do have a negative one armor class, but still. Good. Good. Which one is cast? How is that one casting? stuff is striking right now. Couldn't kill that one, but I want to knock that one out. Stop spellcasting. And there we go. Alright, what do we get? More treasure? Decent experience points. Okay, what's next? Actually, I don't think there's... Oops, I didn't want to go in there. We got back out to the center section, so we'll go through this. And... isn't there supposed to be a battle here? Oh, there is a battle there. Because it happened while I wasn't paying attention. Thank you, game. Thank you. Hopefully I'm not too close. That is not killing any of them. That will. Turn. Of course, it turned the ones that I've wounded. <sighs> oh well, that's okay. A little bit of money. Oh, good God, why? Cone of cold. Whee! Ooh. Ow, ow. Since I can rest anywhere. Excellent. Ow, that was a lot of damage there. I think I killed that quickly. More money. Let's go ahead and rest again. Okay, that should be that section taken care of. Alright, let's look at area of view again. Okay, um, now this next section has diagonal uh, teleporters, so that'll be fun. Okay, I'm in there, so let's head south and in here. Oh, great, whites. Let's go ahead and cast a lightning bolt. Turn. Wow, gee, thanks. One turn. Ooh. Wow, they don't have many hit points. Fantastic. It wasn't the damage. <laughs> So I'm 
not sure if there's uh, supposed to be any message when you've completed these things, but I'm pretty sure I've completed them. Get my spells back. Um. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. As you ascend the ancient stairway, you feel the fresh air on your faces and breathe deeply. Something, someone said something, and now we're out. And enemies attack right away. Good thing I got away. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and pause it while I look for the uh, um, next uh, Dwarven Maze thing. So I'll see you momentarily. Okay, I've made it to um, the uh, ruins east of the bridge over the river Dasaran, which is south of Yartar. Hidden in the undergrowth, you discover a very old tunnel leading down into the earth. Do you enter? Yes. Okay, so we are in the room of three doors. We need to um, find the wall that has no uh, door and head towards that one. Fortunately, it changes every time. Basically, the game is teleporting us to a different room, and now I have no idea which way this is going to be. Great, let's go that way. I'm back in the center again. Fantastic. Door there, door there, okay. Door there, door there, and I can't tell either of those, and I get a battle. Oh! Great. Holy crap! Well, that works. Go ahead and kill the ghoul. So I didn't move, so let's go that way. That didn't work. Oh, crap. Why couldn't it have been undead again? Well, at least we're not going to ge be getting any bouncing from these uh, electric spiders. Let's go with the fireball. And another fireball. Oh, good. Fine, I'll do it manually. Or not manually, automatically. Uh, yeah, that's good. I want, to t oh, I want to take out the electric spider most. Whee! Ooh, very nice. I am a little bit afraid of the uh, giant slugs, but, uh, excellent. Do, 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 do. At least the rest are just O-Yugs. Easy enough to defeat, and we've defeated everything there. Let's go over here, if I can. Slug. If only I had a giant salt shaker. There we go. 
Okay, so there we go. Well, crap, let's not go that way, apparently. That's well, actually not so bad. This is good. This is fantastic. You are going to get to see one of the most hilarious things you can get to see in the game. In any of these games. Yeah, there's no way to get to those enemies over there. They are stuck. We are stuck. Well, looks like you goofed up, game. Oh, why did I have him attack the ghoul? That was kind of stupid. Yep. Generally, the game doesn't do that. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it... Uh allowed them to uh, show up back there. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just have everyone guard. This will take some time. So basically, um, if you've watched my um, let's play of Pools of Darkness, basically the same thing is going to happen. Uh, if you get to a place where the enemies can't get to you, and you stay there for a long enough period of time, the game will just, I mean, the um, battle with en with will end with you as the victor. I don't know if we'll get anything for those enemies that we killed. Um, but they, they put that in specifically so that, uh, I mean, you can hide from the enemies... Uh, even if you are technically accessible, if they don't know where you are, if they can't see you, they can't find you, the game will, I mean, the battle will end. It just is going to take some time. Quite a bit of time. I'll just move the move everyone over. Not sure if distance will make a difference. And of course the walls do affect it well, you know what? I wonder. Can't use that to get on the other side of the doors. Whee! Or the walls, I should say. I mean, I might be able to do something with Dimension Door, but I wouldn't want one person being stuck over there.
And I could always move off the side of the map, but, uh... Not sure if I would be able to, since you technically are supposed to only be able to do that if you mo have a movement faster than theirs. So Ald could, but, uh... Not sure if anyone else could. Because those spiders move have a awfully long movement rate, a high movement rate. Do 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 do. do. You know what? Let's pause it while I uh, deal with this. I don't know how long. Alright, there we go. I did get experience, I do get the uh, treasure. Go ahead and leave. Fall into a dizzying swoon as you settle down to rest. The room spins in your confusion. Oh, great. I can't rest here. And it moves me back to the beginning. What? I was... Look, uh, you, uh, uh, oh, crap. So, I'm... I, I can't afford to blow my spells here, in other words. Fantastic. Should have saved it, though. Turn. Spectre's turn. Spectre's turn. Yes! I'm just going to worry about the spiders. I'll leave her alone. Good. Spider down. Excellent. Yes, I know she's punching. I just don't want to re-equip a staff of striking right now. Is there only the one spider over there? I guess so. That's good. Not gonna complain about that. Oh look, we're almost dead. Ha <laughs> Uh okay. There we go. There we go. Crap. Um I wish I knew what the pattern was here. Nope, not that way. What do we get? I'll create a cockatrice. Turn. Yes. Turn. Good. No stoning, please. Good. Keep missing, people. Or monsters. I appreciate it when you miss. On good. I also like it when we kill the cockatrices before they can do anything. It was an attack from behind. How is that not a backstab? Uh, more experience points. 
more money that I don't really need. Let's go ahead and save it. All right. Nope, that wasn't the right way. Oh, griffins. And orcs. And a spider. There's probably more over here. Yep. <laughs> she punched for three points of damage. Excellent. I like it when the spiders die. Don't care if you attack me from behind. You're just an orc. Okay, good. Got rid of the spider. And now we get another spider. Ah, punch you to death. I should start pausing it for these battles. Yeah, it's all non magical, I'm sure. Nope. What the? That was the blank wall. What the hell? Let's kill the harpy. Do we have any ogre shamans back here? There is. Oh, crap. Oh. I guess I'll be using those, uh, um, let's go ahead and bandage. All right, what do we want to use? Got a stinking cloud, but I can't get, that doesn't, that's no... It's not really all that worth it against, uh... Alright, let's go after these guys. Not at all, unfortunately. But it'll kill the harpy. Oh, great. Solagio just kind of went berserk. Alright, three you orcs. Don't care about you. Killing this guy. Killing this guy, I said. No, don't cast. Shoot. Oh. Oh, crap. Alright, let's try Stinking Cloud now. Starts to cough. Starts to cough. Damn it. Damn it! Would you people stop that! Try it again. Good, chokes and gags. Yeah, what do you think what do you how do you like that? Kill off these orcs. Ah, thank you. Nope. Oh, but Elmandretto is one of the ones who, uh, got held. No. All right. Camp. Let's go ahead and save it as a, under a new slot. No, I'm not going to quit to DOS. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to fix. Can you not use Lay on Hands when you're 
unconscious, unfortunately. What do you mean she's in no condition to cast spells? Come on! This is this is pretty bad, actually. Um, because I cannot rest. I suppose I could try it. Let's try fix. Of course, my uh, paladin and my uh, cleric are both unconscious, so I can't actually fix. Nope. It's going to do that every time. All right. Well, let me pause it while I uh, reload. Okay. Um, I decided to uh, not record me actually getting out of there because it involved quite a few more combats and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm out. You just have to get to a wall with no door and then head towards it. You'll move out and you'll leave the dungeon. So, that's what I did. <laughs> Finally out. Oh, come on. Thank you. Nope. Stop it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, God. Oh, giant rats. That means there's vampires. Or ghouls, apparently. Nope. Vampire. Thought so. Alright, let me go ahead and pause it while I take care of these guys. Okay, took care of those. And now let's go to Yartar. Thank you. Yep. Let's go ahead and fix and rest. Get my spells back. Thank you. Alright, now the bad news is that the next one is the hills north of Daggerford. And I was exploring that, and I couldn't find the freaking things. So I'm going to go back there again, try looking for it again. Uh, now I know that I don't need to have search on, so I don't need to get attacked by monster every sing monsters every single step. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to head down there, find that dungeon, we'll go through that, and then we'll end the episode. So I'll see you momentarily. Okay, finally found it, after innumerable random encounters. <clears throat> Hidden in the undergrowth, you discover a very old tunnel leading down into the earth. Do you enter? Yes! Okay. So, let's see. This one is a little bit interesting. Um, so I want to go through the west door first. That's the east door. So, then... Facing the west, so I can go north and then south. North and then south. North and then south. That's west. I want to go east. Shoot. Where was I? And I get out. Okay. Nope, fleet. Oh, come on. Seriously? Alright, let me go ahead and pause it. Okay, I'm nearing Mirabar, I believe, and um, I should get an encounter with a dwarf who will have some stuff for me. Pouch of herbs slung around his neck, dressed in tattered white rags, an old man hobbles toward you. He raises a hand and you pause to see what he wants. Well, okay, maybe not a dwarf, apparently. I am Rag Rabgar. Old sage of the wilderness, he rasps, his voice tickling your nerves, raising the hairs along the backs of your necks. The old man gives you a broken-toothed smile. You have done well, adventurers, he says. Fought great battles, solved great puzzles, survived. And you have your just reward. Great wisdom, he turns and limps away. Congratulations, the party gains experience. I have no idea how much experience I get. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I cannot tell. Um, no one seems to be ready to go up a level. Let's check camp. No. Okay. Well, let's uh, get to Mirabar. Enter Mirabar? Sure. 
The city guards stop you and demand your names. One, his helmet bearing a captain's crest, seems to recognize them. Go to the meeting of the council. Head north. It's the last door on the right before the bridge. More text. You'd best hurry and keep your weapons ready, he adds. With the threat of war, the streets of Mirabar are full of friendly mercenaries and not-so-friendly spies. And with that, I think we'll uh, end the episode and pick it up next time. See you then!